I'm very excited to be here. There's um, Dennis Quaid's dog Peaches is running around free, so that's heightening everything for me as well. Um, I think everybody can uh, relate to the kind of desire for unconditional love, um, especially from a dog, the kind of love that a dog can give. And I think everybody secretly wants to believe that their dog, when they move on, maybe doesn't just go into the void and they can maybe come back in different forms. And so I think maybe partly wishful thinking, but also maybe there's some truth to it. Yeah. Yeah. There's peaches. Sorry. Uh, so um. So the, one of the reasons that I really wanted to do the film was because it was a, a woman and her dog rather than, you know, we've seen the story of a, a boy and his dog a hundred times. And I just thought it was strange that it hadn't been done before. Um, and so I really liked that about this, this movie. Can you talk a little bit about how this is a continuation from a dog's purpose going into a dog's journey? Thing? Yes. Yeah. So um, this movie is the continuation from a dog's purpose. Yeah. Uh, now into oh, 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 oh. oh dear. Oh dear. All right. Oh yeah. It's okay. Everyone's all right. I knew Peaches was going to be oh, yeah. um, Peaches causing trouble. Um, so this is a continuation from uh, of a dog's of the movie A Dog's Purpose. Um, this time, uh, the dog who finds himself being reincarnated, Bailey, um, has found himself with another person who he sort of feels he needs to look after throughout their life, um, and that's CJ. Um, she's born to not the most supportive parental um, support network, and uh, he becomes her kind of rock throughout her life. And what do you think it is about this movie that's great for the entire family to see? Um, I really think that there is kind of like something for everyone. I know that sounds really cheesy to say, but there is something for everyone. It's not just about kind of the dogs, even though they are like the lead characters. Um, there's a lot of human stories that I think lots of people will be able to uh, relate to, um, you know themes of addiction and friendship and love and heartbreak and kind of things that a lot of people are going to be able to find something to relate to. And you got to work with a number of dogs on this set. Do you have a favorite dog or a favorite dog character? I did. I like feel really bad saying my favorite. Like I loved them all in their own way. And technically they're all kind of Bailey in a different uh, body. But if I had to pick a favorite, I think my two would be Gary and Phil. And they played, uh, so Gary played Duke, the big Irish wolfhound, and uh, Phil played Big Dog. And Phil actually had only eight days training, and I thought he uh, gave one of the standout dog performances. So, yeah, very impressive.